time for another stock review. This time we are talking about Global Star GSAT. Now, in this review, you're going to get a full uh, breakdown of the stock using the most advanced algorithmic software. We're going to use uh, Alpha, which is the software that I use, and all my members can get access to this for free. I'll give you a link for that later on above my head and below in the description. I'm going to share with you the balance sheet, the profit, the loss, the solvency score, the inside trading, who's buying, who's selling. We're also going to look at the latest news of the company, the website. Uh, we're, going, we're going to go into uh, some, some very important news that's just out for the company. We're also going to do a full back test on the company. All of that we're going to do uh, in this review. Now, just know that uh, I'm not sponsored or paid by anyone to do these reviews. They are, can, they are for my members. The companies don't sponsor me to do them. I'm not in any stocks. I only own the S&P 500. So you know my reviews are impartial. I'm biased, real and genuine. I'm not here to pump and dump the stock. However, I am fully aware that we rank number one for many stocks on Google and YouTube and a lot of people follow our channel and we're growing a thousand subscribers a day and expecting to be 10 million, the biggest financial channel in the world in about seven years time. We also do have a Meet the CEO series. It's just very popular. CEOs like to be on my show and uh, you can get your favorite uh, CEO, your favorite company on the show. Uh, if you go below the video, you will find the, the invite, the CEO video I've made for you. It's like a little press kit for you to send off to them via social media or investor relations, or you can uh, and include this review when it comes out and send it and uh, message them. I don't message and sell myself to anyone. They come to me because of you, the investors saying, go on Martin's show, you, your stock will get more popular, people will hear about it, and uh, that's down to you. And I'm very uh, open and happy to do that free of charge. That's just what we do. Okay. So uh, in this review, we're going to go into some detail. We're going to start nice and simple first of all, but we are talking uh, AI today. We're talking about Global Star, futuristic stuff. This, you're going to like this one today. A lot of my investors will like this one. Uh, it's very interesting stock. So without further ado, uh, let's get in and see if it's right for you. Okay. Uh, click uh, the like button if you like this message. Don't forget, if you like these videos, uh, they get they get shared out to other people and more people will see them and you'll see them as well. If you click the down like button, you won't see my content anymore. And please subscribe and ring the bell. If you like real honest reviews, uh, just straightforward numbers, facts, and that's it. So you can make an informed choice. All right, we'll start basic and then we'll get further into it as we go. What is Global Star? What is it? What's the, what does the basic line chart look like? Well, we can see it's opened up here at $17 and now we're running along a penny stock and under $5, we are most certainly a penny stock. Let's have a look. What is the company? Let's read out their statement here. Global Star uh, engages in the provision of mobile satellite services. It offers... Um, voice and data communication service to the following markets, uh, recreation and personal, government, public safety, and disaster relief. All of this is good. We like all of this. Uh, this is the sort of thing our investors here like and I like as well. Uh, relief, oil and gas, maritime and fishing. Thank you, Karen, for your subscription. This is being done in a live show. We are a members only mode. If anyone comments, it will read the comment out on in the show and uh, it will be seen forever as this will be an evergreen video. Uh, natural resources, mining and forestry. Um Construction, utilities, and transportation. The company was founded in November 2003 and is headquartered in Covington, LA. And the listed name is GSAT, G-S-A-T. Now, Paul E. Jacobs, I'd love to invite you on the show. You are welcome. My investors, your investors will uh, message you, I'm sure, via social media and investor relations with this review and the invite the CEO. So you've got more information. And that 
that's how CEOs come on the show. They say they, they say to me they prefer being here because it's open and honest. It's not biased, uh, and they're allowed to you know talk about their company in, in a way they can't do with Mad Money and CNBC and Bloomberg. So you're welcome on the show, and I can promise you one thing: when you come on my show, you will rank on Google and YouTube, and people will find your business a lot more than they find it today. Covington, Louisiana, headquarter, 2003, maintenance requirement, 100%. So if you're buying this on margin, it's regarded as high risk. 2.53 is the market cap. The 52-week high is 213, and the 52-week low is 85 cents. So we are very much a penny stock, um, and uh, fortunately, we are up now. I don't know if they've had a reverse split already, but you cannot be below a dollar for long. SEC rules means you'll have to uh, be delisted unless you can bring the stock price back up. And the way to do that is either get people to buy it or get... Um, uh, reverse the split, reverse the stock with a split to get it worth more than a dollar. Average volume, 5 million. Today's volume is 13,000. Very low volume today. Okay, let's move on down and let's see. We've got um, some recent news, just, just a highlight here. I'm going to cover this in much more detail soon. But just a few days ago, in fact, yesterday, uh, Global Star Earnings uh, that's that we're going to cover that in a mo in a moment. So I won't do that right now. Um, now then, let's look at their um, most recent earnings. Just basically, we're going to go in much more detail shortly. We're hovering on the edge of being cash positive. We're still at zero, um, and uh, we just missed on earnings, sadly. And we were expecting uh, zero per share. We were expecting to break even and we just missed it by 0 0.01 per share. So we missed on earnings. However, uh, missing on earnings or beating on earnings doesn't dictate the movement of the stock, doesn't dictate direction of the stock necessarily. Who else are we invested with? In other words, um, who else is um, investing in this company with other companies? Uh, so Zemedica, SNDL. I'm reviewing SNDL later on today. I don't know about any of the other stocks, so I can't comment what the volatility or direction of the stock would be because I simply do not have uh, any research on those stocks. Right. So now we need to go and have a look at the, at the website before we go into the money. Can you make money out of this business? Is, it, is there an opportunity to make money as you, for you as an investor? Well, we need to scratch our chin, look down, look important like we know what we're talking about and go and take a look at the website and then we'll look into further details. Okay, here we go. So, Global Star. Global Star announces commercial availability. For, let me just zoom in a little bit for you. XCOM ran multi-point radio system for private network wireless optimization solution being developed by ma major global retailer. Let's just scroll down, <clears throat> look at some of the products, learn about our innovations, track assets uh, simply and affordably in emergency situations, embedded solutions for faster deployment and protect your loan workers. <clears throat> Excuse me. Industry served, government, transportation, energy, construction, commercial maritime, agriculture, and forestry. Let's take a, a look here about Global Star, a bit more detail from the company directly. Uh, let me just zoom in here. There we go. Let me just line that up there a little bit. There we go. Global Star empowers its customers to connect uh, and uh, to transmit and communicate in smarter ways. Easily, quickly, securely, and affordably offering reliable satellite and terrestrial connectivity services as an international telecom infrastructure provider. The company's LEO satellite constellation assures secure data transmission for connecting and protecting assets, delivering key operational data and saving lives from any location for consumers, businesses and government agencies across the globe. Global Star's terrestrial spectrum band 53 and its 5G variant NG3 Offer, offers carriers, cable companies, and system integrators a versatile, fully licensed channel with a growing ecosystem to improve customer wireless connectivity, while Global Star's X-Comp technology offers significant capacity gains 
in dense wireless deployments. We do have some latest news just recently out. We will share that with you now. Uh, this is just out. Global Star announces the commercial availability of XCOM RAN, a multi-point radio access network, RAN, that develops uh, delivers greater capacity and coverage in dense 5G wireless applications with significantly more efficient use of spectrum. Okay, what we're going to do now is move on into the numbers because at the end of the day, it's all about investing here on this channel. We know a bit about the company now. We'd like to learn more directly from the CEO, but we are now going to look into the numbers. So let's start, first of all, with the most important, intrinsic value. Here we go. Now then, if you are still with me, tap the like button and share this video out to more people. Click the share. Uh, do comment below and I will respond to all of your comments as well. And, uh, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now then, we look at this and it says the company uh, is overvalued by 81, 82% on a base case scenario. On a best case scenario, it's overvalued by 76%. And worst case scenario, overvalued by 86%. We think the stock is worth potentially 24 cents. However, are there any warnings? No, there are no warnings. This intrinsic value is regarded as accurate. Regarded as accurate. So you could say, at the moment, it's overpriced. It's too expensive. OK, you could argue that. Um, what is an intrinsic value? Well, you might want to pause the video at that point there and uh, take a closer look at what an intrinsic value is and how we come to those numbers. All right. But that's what we think the stock is worth right now. However, that's a lazy way of looking at a stock. You have to look at it. Uh, there's a lot more things you need to be aware of uh, before you decide if it's overvalued, too cheap or whatever. Let's, uh, let's, let's have a look at that. Valuation backtest. We'll run this in real time, run it through our software and see how the backtest, uh, how the valuation comes up. There you, there you go. Correlation, 57%. Uh, using this strategy to, uh, of buying when undervalued more than 20% and selling when overvalued, there, there, there have been no qualifi qualifi qualifying transactions to date. So it just gives you an idea of the valuation history. Okay. Now moving down to the fundamental analysis, let's have a look at this. The revenue, as you can see, we're up 5% over the most recent range and things are expected to continue. That's good. Operating income uh, is down 92% over the most recent range. We are spending money at the moment. Um. Net income is down 54% as well. Financing cash flow up 19%. That's good. Uh, investing cash flow is uh, increased by 12% over the most recent range. Operating cash flow is down 26% over the most recent range. Okay. Moving on down. We look at the balance sheet. Very, very important to look at the balance sheet. How well funded is this business? Is it likely to survive? Can it make money? Uh, what's its debt position? Well, 924 million in assets. The good news is about half of that is liability. So we don't have an upside down balance sheet. We don't have too many liabilities. So that's okay. Uh, what about, uh, and we do hold 56 million in cash. That's good news. Liabilities, uh, do we have any long term debt? Well, out of 554 million, uh, sadly, we do. We have 59% um, of long term debt. We don't like that. We don't mind a company with debt. Of course, when we get. Um, uh, interest rates come down. That's a catalyst, uh, a positive for the business. Um, but And we are expecting rates to come down in the summer. So that's good. But uh, they do have a high uh, percentage of debt. And uh, But the good news is their liabilities is, is um, around about 50% of if thereabouts of their uh, overall of their assets. So the, the balance sheet is fairly healthy. We'd like to see the debt come down. So I would imagine when we get to it, the solvency score will be okay. I would imagine somewhere in the 30s, 35%. I'm guessing. I can't see it yet. 
I'm looking at the screen that you're seeing. But let's see if I'm right. Uh, the efficiency of the company. Uh, you can see here the efficiency of the company over time. You might like to um, uh, pause this video at these points and zoom in and, and take some more detail. Gross margin, uh, 69%. Operating margin is zero at the moment. Net margin, negative 16%. FCF is negative 41%. ROCE, uh, zero is flat. ROIC is flat. ROA is negative 4%. And ROE is negative 10%. So here we go. Let's have a look at this. Free cash flow analysis. Some new data we've got for you now. We've upgraded our data. We're bringing you more information. Free cash flow analysis, um, negative 92.5 million. All right, three-year average, 13.3 million. Uh, and then you can, there you can see the free cash flow analysis over time. So you can get to see how the cash flow has changed. And again, if you want access to this software, I can give you this and my members can get a free version of this. And uh, it's very, very useful. It's the most advanced algorithmic software available, I believe. Looks absolutely great. We love it. I use it all the time for my investments and research. And um, my members can get a free version of this. All right. There you go. I wasn't far off, was I? I said around about 30, 35. It's actually 29. So there you go. The solvency score isn't horrendous. It's not diabolical. They're not going out of business, but it's not great either. They've got a bit of debt there and, you know, and 50% of their liabilities uh, is their asset. So, uh, you know, it, it's, it's okay. It's not a great balance sheet, but it's an okay balance sheet. It's not going bust. Profitability score, 44%. Uh, that's not bad. Um, just negative cash flow. If we can sort that out, reduce the uh, the debt position, this could go up nicely. Now, what about Wall Street targets? Well, worst case scenario, 25% downside. Average though, 217% upside, a good, good upside here, or even 513%. So we go for the average, which is the mid, the mid, the mid range, a 217% um, swing here, potential this year. So the balance sheet is okay, the debt position's okay. Uh, we like this sector, it is, a, it is an exploding sector. Um, we'd like to know about their future contracts. There's more research to be done, but this is a potential buy. Uh, the upside seems quite good. The balance sheet seems quite, quite good. Not, I'm, I'm saying quite good because I'm expecting rates to come down shortly, which will be good for the stock, right? The competition, you can check out the competition. Again, I'll give you the link for this and you can compare the competition, their balance sheets, how much money they've got and you can see. Now then, this is good. This is interesting. We like to buy in before insiders start buying back. Insiders have just started buying. During the last 12 months, Global Star Insiders bought uh, 21 million and sold 51 million. But that was back here in June of 23, quite a while ago. Um, but the most recent transaction from the company was December the 19th, 847,000. That was Lynch James F. So that was just a couple of months ago. Insiders have started buying back in. That is a bullish sign. That's good. We like to buy in before there's too much buying in because obviously the price has already popped. But that's encouraging. So we've got uh, some good news here so far. Um, let's move on down to the um, latest news. I like to cover the news in the media, but this was six months ago. So I'm not even going to bother. Uh, it was six months ago. However, it is the CEO uh, of the company. So let's uh, just have a quick listen in um, and uh, see what he has to say just for a couple of seconds before we do move on with the review. I think it's worth uh, just uh, taking note of what the CEO has to say. This is uh, Paul Jacobs. Uh, so let's have a quick listen in uh, just for the first moment, even though it's a while ago. Uh, communications company Global Star surging more than 20% today after naming Paul Jacobs as its new CEO. Its market cap is above $2 billion, has some major customers. Paul Jacobs himself, founder of XCOM, former CEO and executive chairman of Qualcomm, and he joins us here on set. Paul, um, Qualcomm 
I had a role in the formation of the original iteration of Global Star. Your, your dad, Erwin, a Qualcomm founder, placed the first call on the system 25 years ago. Why are you becoming CEO of this company? Well, it's super exciting because it's not just about the satellite component of it, but they also have a terrestrial uh, allocation of spectrum that's associated with the satellite as well. And at XCOM, we built technology that makes spectrum actually work harder. So this is a group of people that I've worked with for over 30 years at, at Qualcomm. We were building all the different generations of wireless technology. We came up with a new idea that gives you five to 10 X improvement in what you can get through a chunk of spectrum. So now we see, okay, Global Star's got not just the satellite part, which is super interesting, but we can take this chunk of spectrum and we can use it for private networks. So we have customers that are interested in things like warehouse automation or training, or various applications where there's something that an enterprise wants to do with that and we can provide a mission critical capability for them, meaning that they can't have their communications go down. Mm. So there's spectrum out there that the government's made available for these private networks, but this spectrum you, doesn't get taken away, whereas the other can. So, so I'm going to leave it there because that is six months ago, but I just wanted to hear from the CEO. Hopefully he'll come on our show. I would expect uh, I would expect you will message you investors watching this video will message him and he'll come on the show. Right. Last 90 days. Look at the sentiment. Positive sentiment uh, is 42 uh, percent. Neutral is 57. Nothing bad to say. Uh, as we've moved on to 30 days, more neutral less positive news, but still nothing negative, more positive news next seven, last seven days and nothing today. So not a great deal of media interest, very little interest here in the media. So I would expect for us to rank number one for this stock uh, within a week on YouTube and Google, which is great, certainly on YouTube. Uh, and we can drink, we can bring some attention to the stock. Let's look at the short position. Do we have any short interest that is available to see? Uh, we don't have any information about short interest, I'm afraid. That is not available. That doesn't mean, oh, this, beg your pardon, there we go. There it is. Uh, positions of short interest, uh, 3.56. So there is some short interest driving the stock down, but it's not excessive. Uh, it's very low, but it is there is some. Uh, so it's giving some negative pressure, which is driving the stock down. Um, and uh, But you're not going to get a short squeeze. There's not enough volume. There's not enough short interest. We need at least 20%, at least with big volume to even start to move the stock. So there you go. So what do I think of this? Well, before I give my final review, we do need to go and compare to the S&P. So tap the like button, subscribe or ring the bell, and let's go and see if you can actually make some money on this stock. Is it uh, going to allow you to make money? If you crunched all the numbers, what do you think? Have you studied the chart? Well, let's have a look how it compares to the S&P, and then you can decide whether it's right or wrong for you. So if we put $10,000 in 2011 in the S&P, we'd now have 5x, 51,000. Very good investment indeed. However, on Global Star, 10,000 would be worth 10,759. You've not lost money if you bought it in 2011, um, but uh, you've not obviously done anywhere near like the S&P would have done. No, but what you can see is there was some great big surge here around about uh, 2013, August 31st. We had a rally. So I would like to, if I was buying this stock, look at the investor pages and the news and see what happened here to, to send this st stock skyward. What, what was the catalyst for that? And then ultimately what then uh, brought it back down again and see if we can identify that happening again in the future. But as you can see, we're starting to, it's starting to pop up again and it's held up this time. So what do you think? Let me give my final thoughts on this stock. It's certainly uh, the sort of stock that I believe can do well. Um, I like this kind of uh, innovation. Um, the balance sheet is okay. It's not great. But, but I'm sure it can do better once the rates come down. There's insiders buying, not too much. So you've not, you're not buying in too late. There is some insider buying recently. 
Show interest is there, but that just presents a, a discount. There's no short squeeze, though. Um, there's not that much media interest. No one's really talking about the stock that much. So with this video out and starts a trend and the CEO comes on the show, uh, a lot of interest can come around the stock. I think this is the kind of stock that can do well. Wall Street are giving it a 200 or 500% upswing. Uh, the profitability is 44%. Uh, it's, it's okay. It's a potential buy uh, at the moment. Let's just have a look over the last three months. And you can see uh, it, is, um, it is around uh, nearly 13% over the last three months. We are expecting a reasonable summer. I think some of these companies can do well later on in the year with rates going down. Um, this could be a potential buy. So there you go. There's my thoughts. Uh, this was this was uh, requested by one of our members. You too can have a review like this. If you are a member of my channel, uh, you can have a review. It's um, unsponsored, unpaid for. It's a real genuine review. And I hope it helps the company grow and employs great people. And uh, all of you make money and all of that. That's great. I don't make any money from it at all. I don't own the stock. I only own the SNP. So you know I'm completely impartial, fair and honest. And these numbers aren't biased in any way. Click above my head for all the links. You can get Alpha Spread, the, the technology that I use. Uh, and uh, if you if you if you want that, my members get a lifetime discount, uh, or you can get a free plan. Okay. Go below in the description of the video. You'll also find that, and you'll also find the invite the CEO video. So if you want to send this review off on social media and include this video with the uh, invite the CEO, that's your press kit, if you like, how to get the CEO on the show. There you go. And over here, I'll put more. Uh, I'll put more videos and information in the Meet the CEO series and my reviews. I've done over a hundred companies uh, and I'm reviewing uh, four or five, maybe maybe six to seven today, actually. So there you go. Lots going on here on the show. That's it from me. Look below here and you'll see the extra channel where we are soon to run 24 hours a day. We're already 12 hours a day, soon to go 360, where you can have... Uh, 24 chat, talk to people, share information, uh, ask me live questions. You see me arranging the uh, the invite the uh, meetings with the CEOs live. You see me uh, b making the news uh, before it's e even available uh, as as I'm doing it. So uh, that's the um, that's the uh, extra channel. Once again, over here because I've talked too long and I've missed the spot where it comes up. And that's it from me. As always, have a wonderful day. Until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.